so while we were v- visiting my dad in the hospital in New York, you know who else was there? Especially like we went into Manhattan Akshay. in two days. No, nope. no, that's Canada. When we were in uh, Manhattan, Priyanka and Nick were in Manhattan. Do you have dinner with them? Well, we were gonna go. I looked up at the menu and I was gonna go to the restaurant. But what it turns out, in order to eat at Priyanka's restaurant, you have to make the kind of money that Priyanka makes. <laughs> it's expensive. How much? It's Manhattan. Yeah, but so how much? come on. How much well, it's like thirty-five dollars, forty dollars a dish, and everything's a la carte. Nice. Yeah. Priyanka's now a Bollywood elite. <laughs> Who knew? Just- Hey, welcome back to our stupid ranks. It's a Corbin. I'm Rick. <laughs> She's changed. We'll man. try it someday. She's but changed. In all fairness, <laughs> you have to charge those prices if you have a restaurant anywhere in and around Midtown in Manhattan, because, like, that's especially my- like at Times Square. If you get like a tall vanilla latte in Times Square, it's going to be almost seven bucks for a tall vanilla latte. That's in how Times much Square. I make. Um, that's how much I pay for stuff at McDonald's. Thirty-five dollars. But I go to the Beverly Hills McDonald's. I just want to feel fancy. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Today, we got a new trailer. (laughs) You realize we always have upside down SRK in the upper corner of our frame? Yep. I love it. Oh, I did that on purpose. I know. I I just forget about it. Somebody sent us this beautiful cutout. And I was like, I want it in shot, but I can't I, put it standing up. And so I was like, I'm, he's going to be Batmaning. I, I just noticed it again, and I'm like, I totally forgot about it. Anyway, what's happening? Uh, this is a trailer that dropped a few days ago. Rick was in New York, and that's why we didn't react to it uh, right away. This is Dr. Dr. G. It's a uh, uh, Ayushman uh, Karana yeah. uh, film with uh, Shafali, Shafali Shah, Shah. and uh, Rakul P. Uh, is in it. comes out in cinemas on October 14th. Dr. G spot. I mean, sorry, Dr. G. I mean, it could be. I mean, he does these like Vicky Donners. It's just, uh, he this one could be, about be. The female orgasm. Teaching everybody about the G spot. I can't wait. It's my favorite spot. Me too. Besides a good picnic spot, I, me and my wife have found. Well, it's nice to be in a picnic spot and find her G spot. Oh, that's, that's that's a double dose of happiness. Double dose of. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Well, maybe he is going for the G spot. Gotcha. It's a guy now? Yeah. This is so him already, right? You spank me, huh? You've committed a crime. 
कोशिश करते रहे बच्चा जरूर होगा एक साल में एक सौ सोलह बार निशाना साधे समझ में आ रहा आपको आप गिन रहे हैं <laughs> इन्हें सही जगह पता नहीं है ये गलत <laughs> Uh, I saw the director's name is Kashyap in the bed. Is, is that because uh, I know Any Anirag, relationship? I know Anyarg does have a brother who is in film um, and is not known for like Anyarg style of films. And so, this is such an it's, Ayushman film. It is. It, yeah. it, and it looks good. It looks, it looks like, really I, good. I, uh, and one, it's a great concept because that is a very real thing. A lot of women, uh, I, don't, I mean, I imagine especially in India because there's such cultural stuff yeah, there, yeah, right? Yeah. But even here, most women, my wife, when she was looking for a guy, she said, I, I want a female. Yeah. I, want, I, I want somebody who knows what I'm experiencing. And also just she's they're more comfortable with right. just a woman being down there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when, you know, they have to do stuff with childbirth and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. But obviously there are tons of tons men of gynecologists. Male, and there's nothing wrong with men wanting to be gynecologists if that's what they decide to go into. Obviously, some females have no issues with a, a doc because there's just a doctor. Yep. Um, there's nothing inappropriate about it. But the fact that they're taking this another taboo subject yeah. and making it into a film. And I, I think he it. does a great job with this He genre. does. He does do a great job with it. And so does, the, obviously, the makers are the ones of, I think, Badai Do mm -hmm. and Vicky Donner. And I think it's said uh, the Barfi one? Barfi one, with, yeah. Uh, with uh, Burley, Burley Ki Barfi. Yeah, with Rajkumar, right? Um, can you ever, do you ever think it could be too much going into one specific genre? As far as, like, the choices he's making? The difference is, obviously, if like you were just making uh, the same film every single time, yeah, that'd be one thing, obviously. But these are the same style of films, but just more powerful subjects. Yeah. But he I did think... kind of change the genre of Bollywood for a while. Yeah, and I think it just depends. I mean, he's at a place where he can make decisions about what he wants to do based on just his own personal preference. Yeah. And clearly, he loves to do films that have a strong message. And, and they're they family always oriented. Always family oriented. So that can impact society for positive progressive change. And but are still commercial. Are still commercially acceptable. Yeah. And I, it's very clear that he's absolutely comfortable with this. Wouldn't surprise me if he's like, yeah, like the way Tom Cruise made the decision, I'm going to do action for the next 15 years. I used to do a lot of other stuff. I used to do a lot of dramas and Oscar level kinds of things. And now I'm just, I want to do Mission Impossible. Well, I've still got the ability to do my stunts. I love the stunt work. So I'd love, obviously, to talk to him about that and find out the choices behind it, what, what yeah. drives him. But it's such a him kind of a film. Well, yeah, because any, anytime you see a film now that is commercial but has a message, like uh -huh. Renvier's film earlier this year. You're like, this feels like an Ayushman film. Yeah, and especially covering something that is, you know, somewhat culturally taboo to talk about. Yeah. That's the big thing, is we're going to talk about the thing that a lot of people don't talk about. Yeah, but I, I wonder sometimes if, when does it become, now it's just a niche and people are going to be over that. I Obviously, think, that's what the audiences decide, and, yeah. and they can decide when they're over that. But I, I think that all comes down, obviously, to story. Yeah. As long as you've got a good enough story, and it's an important enough story for people to hear, that's the tell-all for me. If you go see it, and you're like, okay, it's just another one of those films because you're trying to mark it on a, a group there, it'll be a weak story. Yeah. Yeah. But with that cast... The cast, and then obviously it's a... It's a pretty good track record now. I feel like this is one of the most consistent genres Bollywood has in terms of a nice commercial film that has a good message. Yep. But it, it's it's still very commercial in its accessibility. You'll yes. have some nice songs. Yep. Um, and it'll be mostly lighthearted. It'll have a moment of heaviness that makes you kind of get touched in the heart. And then when it ends, you're going to feel good when yeah. it's over. I yeah. feel like this is one of the most consistent genres Bollywood has. Absolutely. And I, I think Ayushman probably has a lot to do with that. Absolutely. At least in the more recent years. Yep. Um, but yeah, I thought I, it looked good. And I know there's people that it's like some people, a particular genre just doesn't float their boat. They don't like rom-coms. They don't like musicals. They don't like horror. Whatever it is, they don't like dramas. And there'll be some people that no matter how good this is, it's just not going to float their boat yeah. because they don't like these kinds of films. But yeah. I do. I, uh, I like this. For a long time, I'm, horror is my genre that i've overlooked in my entire life because i was younger and you know everybody's scared right when they're kids right and then i just never watched them and so 
I'm now trying to get through all of them. Yep. Like I got through Nightmare on Elm Street, which I had never seen. Yeah. I got through. Um, what was it? What was the other one? I don't know. I remember no. the Nightmare on Elm Street one. Nightmare was it Friday the 13th? Friday the 13th as well. But just the first ones currently. Yeah. Halloween? Uh, I, I saw that last year. Okay. Steph showed me that one. Yeah. And I just watched Scream as well. Oh, never seen yeah. Scream. Yeah. Um, and that was kind of like an ode to a lot of the... Uh, have you seen uh, Blair Witch? No. Yeah, that's another one. You think should of, add that to the list. Basically, think of a horror film. I probably, probably haven't, haven't seen, seen it. it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the whole Shining. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've seen Shining. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that's that's basically but as far as it gets. I was the same way. Yeah. I, I didn't like, for the most part, so many of the horror films that I saw that just, they were so weak. All they were doing was jump scares and there was no really good story or good acting. But my wife loves the genre, so she knows, and her sister, they know the good stuff. Yeah. But also, I don't mind, like, these just... Because I, I enjoy the kills a lot. Yeah. Because, like, there's, like, the acting in, in Friday the 13th and the acting in... Um, uh, <laughs> nightmare. Nightmare. Yeah, Nightmare. It's not... It's A lot of them is bad. Yeah. But... I'm like, okay, just kill him. This will be fun. I enjoy that. That opening sequence in Friday in in A Nightmare on Elm Street when Freddy first appears to yeah. Wendy, and he's cutting his own fingers off and his arms are stretching. My buddy Rich and I were we saw that in theaters. We were literally punching ourselves, punching each other, laughing. We loved Freddy Krueger so much. When he jumps out, he says, "Hey, Wendy, watch this." And the blood squirting out of his hands. We were dying. <laughs> Have you but, seen all of them or just that? Yeah, just the first two. Yeah, because after that, it became just franchise fodder yeah, yeah, yeah. for us uh same thing with friday the 13th the first couple ones were really scary and then it was just franchise fodder yeah same thing with halloween yeah. halloween just became franchise fodder there's another one coming out this halloween there is it, apparently it's the last one but then when you're ready because i don't think you saw haunting of hill house or the haunting of bly manor yeah glory yeah I heard those some of the gr greatest horror stuff flanagan is the best anyways this is a great trailer. Uh, let us know what you thought about it. Which we are next Ayushman film besides this one. Let us know down below. Josh!